Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6, from the Amplified Translation, as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. Train up a child in the way he should go, teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And the Passion Translation reads, Dedicate your children to God and point them in the way they should go. And the values they've learned from you will be with them for life. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true and a great piece of advice to parents? What does it say there? Train up a child in the way that they should go. And even when they're old, they will not depart from it. And that is so true, family. As, as parents, if we raise our children up in the ways of the Lord, if we train them up by, by teaching them to pray every day, to read their Bible every day, to go to church every week, and they go to church where they learn about the word of God from Sunday school and all these kinds of things. If we lead by example of showing them that we need to go to cell group and serve in church and all these kinds of things, and we raise them with godly principles and by godly standards defined by the word of God and not by the world. If we do this family, what does it say there? Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And isn't that so true? They will always come back to it. And sometimes maybe in their teenage and early 20 years, they may get a little bit rebellious and they may stray from it a little bit. But that's what often happens with children that age is they just need to find themselves and find their own feet and find their identity. But if you've laid that solid Christian foundation in their lives from a start, even if they deviate from that path for a while, they will always come back to it because it's embedded in them. Their lives is built on a foundation of the word of God and godly principles and all these kinds of things. And consequently, they'll always come back to it. My parents raised me in a Christian household, even though when I was younger, we didn't necessarily always go to church. When I was a teenager, after my family got born again, then we were going to church more regularly and stuff like that. And they they raised me in the ways of the Lord. And even though I departed from it by being a rebellious teenager and, and being an atheist in my early 20s and all these kinds of things, I came back to it eventually at the age of 23. I rededicated my life to the Lord. And here I am a couple of years later, standing in front of you beautiful people sharing this message. Why? Because my ch- my parents raised me up in the ways that I should go, in the ways of the Lord. As it says, they're teaching him to seek God's wisdom and his will for their abilities and talents. And isn't that important as well and for the parents out there? When you're training your children up in the ways of the Lord, Don't just show them what to do, but teach them that they need to seek God. They need to seek his will for their lives. God has placed skills, gifts, abilities, and talents inside each and every one of us in a unique combination and in a unique way. And if we teach our children to seek God's will and, and God's wisdom, God will then show us how he wants to take those skills, gifts, abilities, and talents that he's placed within us and utilize them for the building and the advancing of his kingdom, to utilize them for fulfilling his will for our lives. And this is an important step as well, because you know if you train them up in the way and they, they come back and they follow it for the rest of their lives, it's all good and well. But if they go into church every Sunday and they're not seeking God, they're not seeking his will for their lives and not seeking and for fulfilling the the purpose that is placed within them, then what are they really accomplishing at the end of the day? We need to emphasize in our children the importance of seeking God's will and fulfilling his will for our lives because there is no thing in this life that is more satisfactory than fulfilling the will of God for your lives, family. And what does the Passion Translation say? It just puts it in a different light. Dedicate your children to God. And that speaks about, you know, when, when you found out you're pregnant, when the child is born, all these kinds of things. Dedicate that child to the Lord and say, Lord, this is your child. You use her mightily for your kingdom. Confess and pray positive things over your children from the moment you find out that you are pregnant right through until until you're old and, and they have succeeded in life and pursued God's will for their life. Continuously pray and continuously confess positivity over your children, family, there is power in a praying parent. And it goes on there to say, point them in the way they should go. As it says, they train a child up in the way they should go. Teach them godly Christian principles, principles from the word of God instead of from the world. And then it says, and the values they've learned from you will be with them for life. 
the values that you've imparted to them, the wisdom that you've imparted to them, the principles you've shown them that they need to do to live the Christian life will be with them for life as the Passion Translation says there, family. So I want to encourage you, if you're parents, if you're planning to be parents, apply this principle in your children or your children-to-be's lives, family, because then we will raise up a next generation of godly leaders, a next generation of godly children who will take the word of God, apply the word of God, walk in the will of God, and accomplish great and mighty exploits for the kingdom of God here on earth. We need to think about our legacy and what better part of our legacy than to have children that are loving the Lord and serving the Lord and accomplishing great and mighty exploits for his kingdom them and for his glory. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I just pray for all the parents out there and all the parents to be, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are helping them to apply the scripture in their children's lives, Lord, that they will raise their children up in your ways, in your word, Lord, that they will show them the importance of seeking you and seeking your will for their lives, Lord, that you will use them to impart godly Christian principles into their children's lives, Lord, so that even if they stray from it one day that those children will always come back to you and that they will fulfill the will of God, your will for their lives each and every day that they're here on earth for the parents as well as for their children. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory and the adoration for the next generation of Christian leaders that you are raising up through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook. Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says given. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.